Um, what's up boys? Today, I'm gonna make another commentary video. And I wanna talk to you guys about old YouTube. And by old YouTube, I mean for like 2013 and 2016. Maybe it's 2017 shit. But old YouTube was a wild time. So I decided that I'm gonna like, kinda go off memory of this. So things might not be as accurate as possible. But I'm just gonna like, go off what I remember of those of that time on YouTube. Cause it was one of the weirdest times of social media ever right now. Things are more clean and clear, but back then, everything was like wild. So yeah. So first thing I want to get to is like, I'm pretty sure this is like when com like uh, commentary videos started to rise with Leafy is here, Pyro Cynical, and people like them. So Pyro at the time never showed his face. He he never showed his face until he got exposed by Keemstar. And at the time, my favorite person was Leafy, right? And Leafy was my favorite content creator ever. I was very edgy because of Leafy. Because if you don't know. Leafy was a very, very edgy individual. And I got recommended one of Power Cynical videos. And I started watching Power Cynical. And to this day, I still watch him. Like, he's still one of my favorite content creators. I look up to him. And, you know, one day I want to feature him in one of my videos. But I remember Leafy, the shit he would say would never fly on YouTube today. Like, if I were to say, repeat some of the shit that you, Leafy would say, I'd be, I'd be terminated right now. Same thing with Power. Some of his older videos are way too edgy to be up on YouTube now. That's why they've been taken off. Or he's uh, private them himself. And that's why he's a bit more clean. And that's why you, Leafy isn't on the platform anymore. He isn't, Leafy isn't on any platform with how bad he got when he came back in 2020. Which he did kind of get cucked by Pokemon. Which she can't say shit. She said the N-word so many times I can't even count. But you know. Just the commentary was amazing man. I, I, I missed that time. Just because of everything that you could say. And it's not about the fact of being cancelled, it's about the fact of it being even allowed to be said on the internet. Next off, we have gaming. Gaming was a very big thing at the time. Um, Vanoss, you know, he's still pretty big to this day, but he, I think this is like his prime. Well, actually, 2012, 2014 was Vanoss' prime, but like, you know, Vanoss was very big. He's one of my favorite creators to this day. I just don't watch him very much. I've kind of like outgrew his, um... Uh, style of video i don't watch gaming videos much but i remember back then i would just sit down and watch like a bunch of his black ops 2 black ops 3 videos and they would just be they they were just fucking hilarious vanos is one of the funniest content creators i know of and all the vanos crew uh markiplier jacksepticeye pewdiepie pewdiepie at this time was at his prom i would say this is uh, peak pewdiepie now he's kind of chilled out the last time i remember watching him specifically was his Last of Us 2 series, because I was too broke to own the game. And eventually I bought it and streamed it, if y'all were around back then. I'm not talking about the New Game Plus series either, I'm talking about the OG Last of Us 2 series. Back in 2020, I believe. But, that was all happening. Um, Five Nights at Freddy was, was very big. Undertale, just a bunch of gaming shit was going on. And, yeah. Next up, we have vlogs. Like, I'm not talking about, like, vlogs like me, where I go do stupid shit, for, like, and that's, like, the focus of the video. I'm talking about, like, Casey Neistat, Logan Paul, OG, like, type, type vlogs. Where they would just go around and film their day, then upload it. Like, long-ass vlogs. Like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna look up, uh, Casey Neistat. How do you suppose last name? Oh, there it is. How, how long were this man's vlogs? He had some, like... Like, 20 minute. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sit down and watch someone's 20 minute day. Uh, it's not happening. But, also, prank. Oh my god, that's the next thing I'm going to talk about, the prank videos. Oh, uh, I just saw one of his. Um, But, yeah, vlogs were pretty big back then. Like, keep, keep mind, all these things were at, like, their peak at the time. Now, they kind of, I don't, I don't know. I think, concept, I think commentary is still the, like, the biggest thing right now. Because it's what I see the most. Look on trending. What's, what's trending right now, guys? It's trending on YouTube. I'll look at that here in a second. But all these things were like at their golden age. Now, like I said, they've all kind of chilled out because of deplatformization. Like them being deplatformed and everything. But what the fuck? I look up, I go on the training page and I see shit about uh, Infantu, the Pixar movie. Oh my god, it's all just shorts. It's all just short videos. Oh, YouTube's trash. 
via vlogs. Very big back then. Casey Neistat, Logan Paul, Jake Paul were some very big names. Team 10. Next off, we had the thing that I remember the most. Uh, it's like this is like commentary with the biggest things for me at the time. Prank videos. Joey Salads, Prank Invasion, Sam Pepper, um, uh, fuck, who else was around back then? Who else did I watch? Uh, Life Luxury. I know all these people were like shitty content creators, but like back then they were my shit, bro. I love these people, especially Joey Salads. Joey Salads, let me look up his most popular pranks. Joey Salad pranks. Well, he called them all social experiments, but flashing children prank, N word prank, breaking strangers' phones prank. In yeah, oh, yeah, dude. This is like Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter social experiment. Uh, if only he knew what that video would cause nowadays. He made that five years ago. Um, back then, I remember watching that video specifically, and I didn't see what was wrong with it. Oh God, uh, please! I was, I was, I would have been five years ago. I would have been eight. Don't judge me. Um. But Joey Salads, dude, fuck. I remember Sam Paper got into a lot of controversy because, like, he did, like, a fake kill on his friend video. And it was real. Um, Sam Paper kidnapping prank. Yeah, Sam and Kobe. Oh, uh, dude, that was, that was... Yeah, it was Sam Pepper. Dude, that, that was just a horrible video. I don't know. I want to know what went through this man's head when he filmed that. Because this man was in, in so much distress. I don't, I don't see the point. Will and E reacted to it six years ago. Uh, fuck Will and E. He, uh, stole memeless, made his content bad. Anyways, yeah, let's move on. Final thing I want to talk about here is, like, OG Minecraft YouTubers. These were, like, a little bit before, like, uh, popular MMOs, Sky, Sky Does Minecraft, Bachelorverse, uh, Stamp, fuck, why didn't I say Stampy first? Stampy, Dancy DM, all these people were my childhood. I still love them to this day. I remember I had, like, a little shitty, it wasn't even an iPad. I had, like, a fucking tablet. In fact, oh, actually, I got, um, I saw this on eBay, and this was the exact tablet I had. Like, it, at least I think it is. Well, I'll be, I'll be right back. It looks just like it. Don't ask while all that stuff is on my, uh, table. But... This iPad right here, like exactly like the one I had when I was younger. Hold on. Oh, I can't fucking see. Long ass hair. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot the case. Right, this right here. This piece of shit. Also, I had a Kindle, but I remember I broke it, so. Yeah. Uh, just want to shout out, like, the OG Minecraft YouTubers, even though they don't need me. They're still doing pretty well. And, yeah. Dan TV them. Uh, still my dad. I still watch the NTM to this day. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this. This is just a video so I don't get in legal trouble because my channel still being monitored by the FBI. Well, not the FBI, but my local police station. So if you're watching this, local police, don't arrest me. Didn't say nothing bad. Peace out.